Hey my friends, it's your friend Kevin. Welcome, welcome, welcome all of you. This is your card and your message of the day. All right, my lovely friends, uh, here we are, here we are, here we are. So I wanna give credit and talk about how I get these messages. Happier Me cards, they're affirmation cards. I found them on Amazon. Uh, you're going to have to go look up this name, Aramond or Ariond, if you want to find them. They are not the easiest of uh, 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 things to find. But then when I did my search yesterday, I found all kinds of things. So what's our affirmation from Happier Me cards? It is, I deserve all the good that comes my way. And then we turn it over. For more empowerment, add this affirmation. I now realize all negative beliefs about myself, or I now release. But I like the idea of I now realize and release all negative beliefs about myself. I like that more. I realize them and I release them. Bye-bye. Okay, so here we go. We are using the Divine Masters Oracle Deck by Kyle Gray. And with that said, we have yesterday... For some reason, the Lady Venus wanted to show herself. So I pulled the Lady Venus and then remembered Sanat Kumara was our um, Master of the Week. Sanat Kumara is the eternal youth that kind of brings that effervescent, youthful feeling. More importantly, he's here this week to make us realize that we're an open channel to the divine. We're an open channel to the messages, the codes, the light work. He also commands the planet Venus. So look for signs, look for downloads, look for high pitched noises in your ear, look for triple numbers, look for all kinds of angelic symbols that are coming to remind you of what the work is. This is why Lady Venus popped in. Lady Venus came in to give us a call of action, to a power surge, to remind us of what our Earth mission was. And let me read a little bit from the guidebook because I think it's incredibly important. Lady Venus is an advanced cosmic being of ecstatic light dedicated to helping us connect with the divine wisdom. So some of us are going to be going into that meditative state and getting information that we are clear on where it's coming. We're not clear on where it's coming from. We're just clear that it's coming. She's an interplanetary representative of divine love and the bringer of the higher consciousness. Lady Venus supports the ascension of planet Earth. The twin flame is Sanat Kumara. She is the queen of the cosmic race of light beings that are known as the Venusians. The Venusian energy is an advanced cosmic energy similar to the angels. And the Venusians consider themselves to be starry ancestors. You know, remember, last week and the week before we had Sopdet, it came. So there's not any kind of coincidence here. When called upon, these starry ancestors help us embark upon a personal mission that will make a difference in and on this earth. Lady Venus, although maybe a lesser known divine master, will be there to help us all, particularly those who want it, to dedicate their life to making a difference. And when this card pops out or shows up, your life has this full potential. And her message is basically for hundreds and thousands of years, everyone on earth has prayed for a better way. And we're born to be here on this earth mission 
everything we faced, overcome and healed from has prepared us for leaving a legacy and you, me, us together are people who make this great change happen. This work can seem overwhelming, tough, emotional, so the universe will not place any expectations or pressure upon us. Just by making small shifts, you're showing those around you what's possible. If you feel you're constantly helping and healing and guiding others, that's because this is a calling from deep within and Lady Venus is with you on this way. All right, so I am patient and I am forgiveness. I begin each day with a grateful heart and I'm using the Archangel Michael Sword of Light Oracle. I can't think of any other tougher, brighter, lighter, more powerful group of angels and ancestors and great masters to come with these messages and I stand in awe that I get to do this and and share all this with you and hear your there's our card and hear what you have to say that it brings you I read comments and I'm blown away in a good way right here we go Beatrice Gertrude this is number 31 take control of your thoughts oh I like this so much your thoughts are creating your reality. Have faith and stay focused on the outcome that you truly desire. I don't know that Archangel Michael can bring us a more, a clearer message. Other than for me to add to it, this is a number six day. I like six because it's a number of creation. I like six because the number six card comes after number five. Number five is a great change. We get the heads up, change is coming, and we get given this early uh, preview of what that change looks like by our, I can't really say predictions, but what I will say is prescriptions. We get shown tidbits of, well, this is happening over here, that's happening over there, that moon is going here, that planet is lined up there, and we get to hear, oh, animals are behaving differently. We get to know, which we've known for, I know, 20, 30 years, climate's changing. We get to witness that what would normally be springtime, sunshine, roses, um, plants coming up. Oh, here's some snow over here. We get that as a heads up, that there are things that are coming. We also get the heads up of how people are behaving, how people are being towards each other, how anxious they look, how desperate they look, how fractured they look and if you're tracking this these are your heads up this is your vibrational heads up that we came here to leave a legacy the planet will always be to be protected the planet earth isn't going to get destroyed the planet earth is part of this bigger cosmic uh, energy there's always moving and always shifting. One minute after you came into the world, the planets had already shifted. I heard yesterday that um, Jupiter, which is doing its lovely move into Gemini, 1,300 times bigger than the planet Earth. Huge, made up of gases, made up of things that you can't even, you couldn't even walk on it. That's amazing. Jupiter, known as the planet of expansion, kind of bland the way that looks, but it's big things, it's giftful things. And this message today with the number six energy is your message that great, wonderful, honorable things are coming. But you've got to watch your thoughts. You've got to watch your negative thinking. You've got to watch your thoughts about lack, your thoughts about debauchery your thoughts about depression your thoughts about anxiety there is a force at will greater than what we know that to be that put us here for a reason and when we go off course the folks of lady venus sanat kumara our angels our guardian angels our spirit guides those who ascended before us into spirit gently guide us back on course 
They gently bring us the people that we need to be with. They gently protect our homes and our land because Archangel Michael would say, please come and protect us. They are the nurturers of what we're doing because we nurture what they're doing. We love what they're doing for us and they love what we're doing for them. Do you see how this cooperation is going? That's what I believe the number six day and all these cards represent. And here's my ism for you. Begin each day with a grateful heart. Begin each day by saying, I'm grateful for the money I'm going to earn. I'm grateful that the money I earn goes to good use. I'm grateful for the gifts I've got today. I'm grateful for all of you friends that tune in and listen. I'm grateful for the nearly 400 subscribers that tune in every day. And I'm grateful to be the messenger that helps them move forward on the right foot, not the back foot. And with that said, I love you so much for all your love and support. And I'm going to say, have a good day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Hey everybody, we hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with all your friends. Uh, here's a QR code if you decide you'd like to get a private personal reading with me. I'm available most evenings and on the weekends. Just go over to the website, book in what session, 30 minutes, 60 minutes uh, and then fill in the contact information and I'll be back in touch. And if you feel kind enough, here is a link to my donation button. Energy exchange of any amount is always gratefully received. Until next time, be well, be blessed, and thanks so much for watching. Bye.